there's a campaign right now for something called the Robin Hood tax or financial mm. transaction tax. As somebody from the world of finance, are you for it? Uh, I am in favor of the financial transaction tax. In fact, I've been, I've been speaking about it and writing about a financial transaction tax now for a couple years, uh, working in particular with IPS in Washington. Um, there's little progress on, on this front in the United States. Our Treasury Secretary has um, come out uh, against it without really explaining why, but there's strong interest in it uh, for a financial transaction tax now in Europe and most recently, uh, Germany, France, Spain, and Italy have all come out, the heads of state have all come out in favor of financial transaction tax. And there seems to be real, real momentum moving there for a, a so-called coalition of the willing to move forward with this policy, even, if, even without a, 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 a consensus across Europe. And this would extract a, a small levy on stocks and bonds and derivatives trading? On, on the trading. And, and, and my reason for favoring it is not because, um, I, I really, you know, it's not because it's a Robin Hood tax. I actually am not a fan of that terminology. It's because the uh, speculation in financial markets has exploded to such an extreme that, um, uh, they, that the trading volume has actually destabilized financial markets. And there's something called high frequency trading, which is sort of the extreme version of this, where traders trade by computer thousands of trades per second, which has nothing to do with investing in the real economy. And because of that speculative activity, which economists confuse uh, for liquidity and efficiency creating, it's actually, in my judgment, very destabilizing. And so by having a very, very modest tax on speculative short-term trading activity, you actually will discourage that activity and encourage longer-term real investment at the margin while also collecting meaningful tax revenues, which obviously um, we're desperate to find sources of tax revenues these days. So I consider it a, 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 um, almost a no-brainer. I mean, there's no such thing as a no-brainer tax. All taxes will have consequences, some of which we won't anticipate. But this is a tax that makes total sense given what's happened in the financial markets.